TV show title, America, The Story of U.S., Season 1, Episode 10, World War II. Summary. The 10th episode of History Channel's, America, The Story of U.S., series delves into the transformative events of World War II and how they shaped the United States as a global superpower. Through detailed accounts of the war's key moments, the episode highlights the challenges faced by the U.S. and the world. The extraordinary resilience and courage of the American people, and the lasting impact of the conflict on the nation and the world. Pearl Harbor The episode begins with the shocking attack on Pearl Harbor by the Japanese on December 7, 1941. This event thrust the United States into World War II and marked a turning point in the nation's history. The attack left over 2,400 Americans dead, wounded more than 1,000 others, and the U.S. Pacific Fleet in ruins. President Franklin D. Roosevelt declared December 7, a date which will live in infamy, and asked Congress to declare war on Japan. This marked the beginning of America's entry into the global conflict. American Mobilization Following the declaration of war, the United States underwent an unprecedented period of mobilization. Factories across the country were retooled to produce war materials such as tanks, planes, and ships. In just four years, American industry produced 300,000 planes, 100,000 tanks, and 2.6 million machine guns. Millions of Americans enlisted or were drafted into the military with over 16 million Americans serving in the armed forces by the end of the war. The episode discusses the role of women in the war effort, as they filled jobs traditionally held by men and became known as, Rosie the Riveter, a symbol of female empowerment. The episode features interviews with women who worked in factories during the war, sharing their experiences and the challenges they faced. Meanwhile, the U.S. economy rebounded from the Great Depression, as government spending on the war effort stimulated growth and employment. The European and Pacific Theaters The episode then explores the challenges faced by American forces in both the European and Pacific theaters of war. In Europe, the United States joined forces with the United Kingdom and Soviet Union to defeat Nazi Germany. The episode highlights key battles, including the D-Day invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944, when over 150,000 Allied troops stormed the beaches to begin the liberation of Europe. The episode also covers the Battle of the Bulge, the last major German offensive on the Western Front, where American forces played a crucial role in repelling the attack and hastening the end of the war in Europe. In the Pacific theater, the United States fought a brutal island-hopping campaign against Japanese forces, with key victories at the Battle of Midway. Where American codebreakers helped to turn the tide of the war by predicting Japanese movements, and the Battle of Guadalcanal, where U.S. Marines endured months of intense fighting to secure the strategically important island. The episode also emphasizes the importance of the Navajo Code Talkers, who played a crucial role in securing American victories in the Pacific by using their native language to transmit secret messages. The Holocaust As the war progressed, the horrific reality of the Holocaust was revealed. The episode discusses the atrocities committed by the Nazis against Jews and other minority groups, ultimately leading to the murder of six million Jews. 
The episode features interviews with Holocaust survivors, who recount their experiences in concentration camps and the horrors they witnessed. The liberation of concentration camps by Allied forces, such as the infamous Auschwitz, revealed the extent of the horrors faced by the victims. The Manhattan Project and the Atomic Bomb In the backdrop of the war, the United States embarked on a top-secret project to develop the world's first atomic bomb, known as the Manhattan Project. The episode delves into the work of leading scientists, such as J. Robert Oppenheimer, who led the development of the bomb, and the immense resources required to make this weapon a reality. The project employed more than 130,000 people and cost over $2 billion, a staggering sum at the time. Following the successful testing of the atomic bomb in the Trinity test on July 16, 1945, President Harry S. Truman, who assumed office after Roosevelt's death in 1945, faced the difficult decision of whether to use this powerful weapon. Ultimately, Truman chose to drop two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. The bombings killed over 200,000 people, most of them civilians, and led to Japan's unconditional surrender, effectively ending World War II. The Post-War World The episode concludes by examining the immediate aftermath of World War II and the impact it had on the United States and the world. The U.S. emerged as a global superpower, its economy booming and its military might unparalleled. The United Nations was established in an effort to prevent future conflicts on such a scale, and the U.S. played a central role in shaping this new international order. However, the use of atomic bombs also sparked a new arms race and the beginning of the Cold War between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. The GI Bill, passed in 1944, provided returning servicemen and women with financial support for education, housing, and other benefits, helping to fuel the post-war economic boom and the growth of the American middle class. The episode highlights stories of veterans who took advantage of the GI Bill to attend college or buy homes, changing the trajectory of their lives. However, the episode also acknowledges the challenges faced by veterans returning from war, many of whom struggled with physical and psychological trauma, as well as difficulties in readjusting to civilian life. The episode further discusses the civil rights movement, which gained momentum after the war, as African-American soldiers who fought for freedom abroad returned home to face segregation and racism. The episode highlights the bravery of the Tuskegee Airmen, an all-black fighter pilot unit that fought with distinction in Europe, and the Double V campaign, which called for victory against fascism abroad and racism at home. This period laid the groundwork for the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which aimed to end racial discrimination and ensure equal rights for all citizens. Lastly, the episode touches upon the impact of World War II on American culture, as the country experienced a wave of optimism and confidence, with a renewed belief in the American dream. The United States now stood at the forefront of technological innovation, scientific discovery, and cultural influence. The episode highlights examples of post-war innovation, such as the development of the transistor, which revolutionized electronics, and the rise of new art movements like abstract expressionism. These advancements shaped the world in ways that continue to resonate today.
In summary, Episode 10 of America, the Story of U.S. series provides a comprehensive and engaging account of the United States' role in World War II and its aftermath. The episode underscores the resilience and determination of the American people in the face of adversity, as well as the profound impact of the war on the nation and the world at large. Through the use of personal stories, interviews, and historical footage, the episode brings to life the experiences of those who lived through this transformative period in history.